Here is my GPO741 wall phone. It's in the ivory colour as you can see, which I did restore. When I first got this it was terribly, terribly discoloured. It had gone like a mustard yellow colour. Um, and all I did was strip it down and separate out all the plastic components and covered them in 12% hair peroxide and then left it in the sun for a few hours and it returned to the original colour which is ivory. Um, basically what happens is the combination of the peroxide and the UV rays of the sun causes a chemical reaction in the plastic and draws out all the brown tinging into the peroxide and leaves the original colour behind unscathed. Um, so it doesn't bleach it as such so you can be assured that it won't damage the original colour. Um, and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Um, there's a little bit that I've missed here on the handset and a bit on the receiver cap there, but it's nothing really. The rest of the phone's in really nice condition. I'm just so happy with how the um, restoration went on this phone. Um, I did replace the handset cord because it was um, all um, perished. So I found a genuine replacement uh, GPO curly cord and replaced it. So that looks good. I did convert it and add the um, line cord with BT plug on. Originally it wouldn't have had a line cord hanging down like this. The wires would have come straight out the back of the phone and hardwire into the wall. Um, but anyway, that's just the way I've done it and it looks um, quite good anyway. Um, it looks rather quaint on my bedroom wall here. Uh, the way it attaches to the wall is there's a T-shaped metal bracket which you fix to the wall first and then there's two bird post type things on the bracket which correspond with the two holes on the base of the phone and they obviously you take the case off the phone first you hook that over the bracket which is already attached to the wall and then you tighten a screw in the base of the phone which is atta which attaches it to the metal bracket which fixes the whole thing to the wall and then you just put the case back on um, so that's pretty easy really it's just a basic model there's no buttons or anything uh, just a basic wall phone. I did um, service the dial so it runs nice and smooth. As you can hear. Um, so here's the handset. Regular GPO handset. The uh, receiver there. Probably hear the dial tone. And the uh, microphone or the transmitter which is an electronic type. Um, which is a slightly newer type one, which gives better um, trans transmit. Couldn't think of the word then. Um, there's the switch hooks. You hear a bit of the bell tinkle in the background there. Uh, basically, the 741 is just a wall-mounted version of the GPO 746 desk set. Um, the only thing that's different about it, really, on the wall version, is the method in which the dial is held in place. The positioning of the switch hook and the casing, and that's it really. Um, other than that, it's just a 746. Um, and they did actually do 746 style phones with a special bracket which held, uh, held them onto the wall. And the handset sort of rested at the bottom like this. Um, they look a little bit daft if you ask me, but I suppose it'd be quite cool all the same to have one of those. Um, so anyway. Here it is. It's got the original uh, dial card there, um, which is from Stallbridge apparently. Um, it says for fire police ambulance dial 999, dial 100 for the operator. Those numbers are actually still in use, which is quite funny really. Um, so this phone's from 1980. Um, apparently the person who I bought this off, the seller I got it off on eBay, um, said that this was their parents' phone in their kitchen and they've just recently decided to revamp their kitchen and redecorate and they decided they didn't want it anymore so on ebay it went and i bought it so at least it's gone to a good home and it's kind of nice knowing that it's had an original owner rather than just being bought and sold on ebay a few times like most of these old phones are so i think that's all there is to say on it um as you can see, the, there's just a single grommet there, unlike the 746, which has two, because as I said, there wouldn't have been a line card originally. Um, so, I think I'll just show it you dialing out, and then I'll ring it for you. There's the dial tone. 
So I'll just ring the BBC Children in Need um, charity line. <laughs> they don't answer it. Sometimes it takes them longer to answer during the day. Anyway, it does dial out. Should we try a different number? I'll try Morrison's. So as you can see, it does dial out. <laughs> That's typical, though, isn't it? Anyway, uh, Morrison's is a supermarket in the UK, if anyone was wondering, if you're from a different country. Um, anyway, so here it is. So I'll give it a ring for you, so you can hear the um, lovely chime of the bells. I love GPL ringers. They're so loud, and they've got such a nice deep chime to them. Um, so here goes. Call home. There you go, here's what the uh, ringer sounds like. Lovely bit of um, reverb there, um, which is always nice with GPO phones. So anyway, there you go. There's my uh, GPO 7, uh, no, not 746, I was going to say about them. <laughs> GPO 741 wall phone from 1980 in the ivory colour. Really pleased with this. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more in the future.